When I was a lot younger, I had kept to myself a plethora of strange beliefs that made no logical sense, some of which ranged from small fears that were somewhat understandable to vastly absurd and outright stupid. Yet, I can distinctly recall one irrational fear I had, one that I did not realize how extensive it was. There were layers beneath this brief phobia of mine. Quite frankly, the thing I had feared in particular was influenced by my crazy imagination as I was just a ludicrous boy. But to put it simply, I was once afraid of exit signs. When I was around 5 or 6 years old, I found exit signs legitimately harrowing, particularly lit up ones that would glow and flicker in darkened areas like hallways, corridors, or alleyways. I supposed it was just their design, given the font used Highway Gothic, which I guess that gave me a creepy vibe. Back then, exit signs were red, which in this case added to the creepiness in some way. Nowadays, they're green, which appears to be more calming and intuitive. But to put it another way, imagine walking alone in a dimly lit hallway as you're heading towards a brightly illuminated and flickering exit sign. That being the only source of light, you might at least find that a little unsettling, especially as a child, you would feel more likely to experience a feeling of peril. It doesn't have to be an exit sign. It may simply be red lights, as people tend to associate the color of red with negative things like impending danger. Likewise, with this fear in mind, I would occasionally try to avoid venturing into dark hallways with the red exit signs. When I walked through these areas as a child, I would suddenly feel as if something was approaching me from behind like as if being near these placards would entice a slasher to start chasing me. But man oh man, that in my mind would always be the worst case scenario. All thanks to my catastrophic thinking. Quite frankly, I was left even more convinced by this fear of exit signs with a dream I once had. At the time, I did not believe it was a dream because it felt so distinctly real and vivid, yet so strange. So this dream begins with me, my dad, and my brother walking through the dark hallways of a condo where we used to live. In the meantime, everything seemed normal. My brother and I followed my dad as he neared closer to a door with an exit sign above it. On the other side of this door was a stairwell that went upstairs and downstairs. But the moment we exited out the door, Everything promptly turned red. The walls, the stairs, the ceilings, everything was a bright enough shade of red, and that included us in the mix. To my memory, it was very reminiscent of the red room scene from the recent horror film, Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark. You know, the one with the hideously pale lady. It was pretty much like that, except there was no lady. Soon after having realized the color change, our instincts told us that we had to get out of there ASAP. Because it seemed that we all had a heavy feeling that if we stayed inside for any longer, we were going to get absolutely eviscerated. So we attempted to evacuate the condo for fear that something may be dwelling inside and hunt us down. But the thing is, we couldn't leave. The doors at the stairwell to leave the building, as well as the doors to the lobby, were locked. We were essentially trapped inside for a short period of time, and we couldn't do anything but explore the area. Now up to this point comes the most memorable part of the dream. As we made our way upstairs to a particular floor, we were confronted with nearly three quarters of the hallway filled with these 
otherworldly beings equipped with heavy armor while wielding various medieval weapons. They were all gazing at us as if they were bracing for battle. To illustrate in detail, these humanoid creatures, these brutes, closely resembled a specific jump scare from an old German coffee commercial that I watched a long time ago. Honestly, that's how they looked like, except in my dream, their skin was a lot paler. Ultimately, the dream abruptly ended with those creatures chasing us. For a long time, I thought that this dream was a real life memory where I, my brother, and my dad were trapped inside our condo and chased down by these beasts. This memory was engraved in the back of my mind, and I believe that actually happened until I realized it didn't when I was randomly thinking about it four or five years later. However, it did not end there, since after this dream, my younger self came up with such a bizarre conspiracy theory as to why this had happened. Being so stupid, I had legitimately believed that if you exited through a door under a lit up exit sign at a specific time, you would enter another dimension, an alternate reality where everything is colored red and you're essentially trapped inside. Soon after, I started dreaming more about the creatures I mentioned before, and in most of those dreams, they would chase me down. And since it was a dream, I ran as fast as escargots, and those brutes sprinted like Olympic athletes. Eventually, in one of the dreams, they captured me, and out of pride, they laughed hysterically. Now having said that, maybe to some people that would add some sense as to why I was afraid. But still, exit signs have little to no relation to whatever these creatures are. The worst thing is that after having dreamt all of this, I came to the conclusion that these otherworldly creatures are exit colonists. Out of every name I could possibly think of, I called them exit colonists. Meaning, I used to believe that they colonized the realm which hid within the exit signs and that they lived there forever, waiting patiently for someone to enter their dimension at the right moment and catch them, and God knows what they'll do to them. <laughs> so being super young, I believed that there exists a world a colony full of human-like beasts lurking inside these everyday objects that nobody even talks about. Something so specific, yet very, very stupid. Most of the time, irrational fears can be somewhat understandable, like the fear of looking in the mirror or the fear of blood. But for me, I feared exit signs, mainly because I created nonsensical lore behind all of this. At the end of the day, it's an irrational fear. It wasn't as big of a deal, thankfully, and it was mainly influenced by my dreams and my imagination. So let me know in the comments about your irrational fears, or maybe you would like to share one that perhaps tops what I've had. No, I'm just playing nothing beats me being scared of exit signs. Aside from the thank you for watching, see you soon, which will be in a year from now. Have a great day.